Bonjour. I think I've forgotten how to speak French. Everything is green and pink today, surrounded by pink. Green and pink don't go together. My brain hurts, but I will fight through this. I love colour. Today, when I sat down, I wanted to go through an empties. But when I started going through, it felt like everything that I was holding up, I've held up before. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just boring. So I'm going to completely change my plan and do a product video, products that I love. So here is the box of stuff that I am loving. That's it, it's all over. As you can see, lots of it is pink. That's not intentional and that's not supposed to be in there. The fact I can even use a hairbrush is uh, pretty big. First thing is makeup wipes. In the last four empties I have done, I have held up the same makeup wipes every single time. And if I go through my empties, there they are. I would have held up another packet today. I still have a packet left in the bathroom, thank goodness. But when I went to Poland, I forgot to take them with me. So I had to buy some makeup wipes whilst I was out there. So I picked up these from Sephora. They are the coconut water cleansing wipes and they were more expensive than number seven. When you get a voucher, it's two pound for a packet of these. These were six pounds. To be fair, I was buying them in Poland, so I'm not sure about the conversion, but they were dearer than I thought. But still, I love them. Ambulance. There are 25 wipes in this packet and I tend to use one wipe every time. That's 25 days, working days. I just wish there was more of them. I wish they went for longer. Anyway, I recommend those. I am one of those people that throws things in videos. Oh my gosh, police car. It's a bad day. The next magical thing in this box is face wash. Face wash. From the body shop. I have been struggling with my skin for about a year now. Intensely struggling. You know when you wake up in the morning and you want to punch yourself in the face because your skin is so sore, you hate it so much? I know I say this with lovely skin, but makeup and uh, it's a good time of the month. Lots of people don't believe I have hormonal acne because when I vlog, my skin looks fine or I don't, you know, show under my neck. It's very easy when you sit like this for the acne to be hidden around the ears and under the neck, like here. You, you can't see under my chin. But it's so sore and I'm covered in lumps and pus, um, some scarring. I've cut down on dairy, which has helped extraordinarily. Thank you. And from my experience, it feels like it's my internal body that's upset. It doesn't really matter how much I work on my exterior, the inside is what I have to work on. That sounds a bit more deep than I thought. I'm talking about, you know, hormones and food and vitamins, not just, you know, mental health and being a good person. <laughs> anyway, this has been so helpful. I bought this a few months ago at an airport. I was so desperate, the skin was on fire. I was going to a big event. Um, and the lady recommended this, and yes, within days, it helps. I wouldn't say it helps all the time. Again, if it's my body that's the problem, it won't matter what I use, but at times this has saved me. I'm not a fan of tea tree, the fragrance. I hate it, but it's what it does that's important. If you love tea tree, it's great. It's simplistic, it's easy to use, I love the bottle. In terms of the actual face wash, it's like a gel. It's just tea tree gel, basically. Um, if you're somebody that is struggling with sore skin, then I would say that's worth a go. Go for it. The next thing is shower gel from Molten Brown. <gasps> Molten Brown. Molten Brown. Milton Brown. Bleh. I was given a few of these over the Christmas period, and uh, they were all random fragrances. Stuff that I wouldn't have necessarily chosen for myself, also because of price. This is a bit out of my price, price range. There's been a few that I have been trying, some of which I can't find. Um, oh, elderflower, lavender, silver birch, mm, that one's all right. But they made my skin feel so nice, it did feel luxurious in the shower, and it perfumed my skin. When you have a shower gel that does all three, it's brilliant. Um, the next thing is a facial toner from The Body Shop. This is the British Rose Petal Soft Gel Toner. For me, this has sort of replaced my moisturiser. Loads of people will shout at me for saying that, but it has. I use this every morning and I don't tend to put moisturiser on afterwards. I don't feel I need it. Maybe in the winter. It smells so comforting, the rose fragrance. Um, I wouldn't say it's delicious, but I love it. 
My face smells like it for about 20 minutes or so. Um, it's become part of my morning routine. And yes, there's lots of pieces of rose inside the gel, but so far I've had no troubles with this. Like I haven't found bits on my skin. We've been okay. Next thing, soap. If you've been following me for a long time, I have been obsessed with soaps from Lush. Um, the naked soaps, soaps that just, you know, come with no packaging. When I lived alone and I was using my own soap, I was quite happy with that, but having people come over or spend time in my home, I just felt it was more appropriate to have something a bit more sanitary, I suppose. Obviously soap is soap, but some people are a bit put off by using hand soap. So this is how this came into my possession. I've got three actually. I've got this one, another pink one, and some cheaper ones from Radox that are by my sink. I've just bought those, so I'm testing those. However, I hold this one up because I absolutely love it. The fragrance is Rosé Prosecco Fizz. And yes, it does smell like that. It's like, oh, it does smell fizzy. Does Fizz have a fragrance? I won't deny that the bottle did play parts into getting this. Darn you advertising and marketing. But it works, my hands smell nice. This one in particular, it's not too drying. With lots of hand soaps, I find my hands are so dry afterwards. This, not so much. And the same with the one by the sink, actually. And it's actually a lot cheaper as well. Spending six pounds on a bar of soap compared to two pounds for a massive bottle. Goodness me. Although I did have a discount. Now, because I am holding up so many products from the next company, I don't want it to come across as product placement. Hashtag not spam. I have been trying products from Lee Stafford for a while now. One of you bought me the shampoo and conditioner back in 2016. But it was only a few months ago that I really got into it and loved it. The fragrance suddenly became so, I don't know, intoxicating. To celebrate getting my last job, I went out and bought three products, one of which was the salt shampoo. Yeah, it was like a well done, Rebecca. For several years now, I have loved the salt shampoo from Lush, but I feel like I've become a little bit tired of it. Like I just need to try something else and then come back and then relive how awesome it is. So when I saw this, I thought I'd give this a go. It has the typical Lee Stafford fragrance. Oh, Stafford, please make a perfume of this. To be honest, it works exactly the same. I think it has less salt than the uh, big shampoo from Lush. For me, it's not as drying. I feel it does depend what conditioner I use with this. And it's much easier to use. It's not as abrasive. You can feel and see the salt within the shampoo, but if you compare the two side by side, it's just not as bitty. I also love the packaging a lot. So I've just about finished the conditioner here. This would have been in my empties. Um, I wouldn't say that was that brilliant. It was okay. The other conditioner that I've been trying is the sea salt conditioner, and uh, it comes out like this. You ready? <laughs> um, oh, I didn't think that through. Woohoo! Continuity! Okay, boom, boom. See what I mean? Green and pink. I find that's more adventurous as opposed to beneficial. Um, it makes me quite excited using that in the shower, but I haven't seen drastic results. I'm about halfway through, I think. But again, it has the same signature fragrance, and for me, that's a big plus. There's also a hair gel or wax that I love. It's in the bedroom right now. That, oh, goodness me. It did take me a while to learn how to use that though, in the sense too much can ruin your hair, too little, it's like you're not using it at all, but no, love it. Now we progress onto deodorant, which is a big thing. I have been using the same deodorant for about two years, so every single empties, I hold up at least two of these. So yeah, I've been using spray for years. I'm not a massive fan of liquid deodorants, roll-ons, um, because they're liquid and it freaks me out. I don't have the time in the mornings for it to dry. It just feels all icky and sticky. I also don't like perfume deodorant and unperfumed deodorant is quite hard to find, uh, unless you buy from Amazon. And then a few months ago, I was walking around Tesco's and saw some solid deodorant like this. Um, I swear these are getting more popular than they used to be. For me, as a teenager, the only time I really saw these was when I was in America. I'm not sure if it's better for the environment. Obviously, there's no spray, but in terms of all the plastic and how it's created, I'd like to think it's better for the environment. 
As for the products itself, I've been using this in the spring summer months, which is when I tend to sweat the most because the temperature is hotter. So I feel like I need to use this up until January to make a complete informed decision. I can't give a percentage exactly, but on most of the days I wear this, I'm fine. I do find the odd day I sweat and that freaks me out. But it has no fragrance, it dries quite fast. I guess the huge negative is the white marks. This does leave white marks on darker clothing. You may be able to see it there, not so much. So that's frustrating. I've yet to see whether or not there is an invisible version of this, but it's probably got a fragrance of some kind. I've nearly finished this one, so I have bought another. I will continue trying it into the winter. The next thing I have in my basket is hair perfume. This is the Kerasilk Control from Goldwell. Again, a friend gave this to me a few months ago and I fell in love with this within the first spray. I think this particular product is also supposed to help with shine, make your hair nice and shiny, but for me, it's the fragrance. Just, oh. oh. It just, it smells a bit like laundry mixed with amber, and amber is a fragrance, oh, I can just smell it, that I love. I've used this a good 30 times, and that's as much as I've used, so this is going to last a long time for me. You can spray too much of this though. When you go beyond four or five sprays, it does tend to leave some sort of residue on your hair. So I'd say, I don't know, two or three maximum. This also goes quite well with my favorite perfume, which is Bon Bon by Victor and Rolf. They complement one another. I'm so near the end of my bottle. I'm trying to make it last as long as possible. It's perfect. Woohoo, onto eye cream. In my time, I've tried a few beauty serums and eye creams, and I've never seemed to finish them. I get so far and then, you know, lose all hope. I'm 25, going on 26. By now, I should be overloaded in anti-aging serums. And no, this is probably the only thing I have. This is the Oils of Life Intensely Revitalizing Eye Cream from The Body Shop. I'm not a massive fan of this fragrance. Um, it's not sweet. I guess it does smell natural, which is a good thing. Um, for me, it's more what it does and how it feels. There are two different ways I use this. A daily cream, so in the morning, I just tap it on very carefully and I rub all the way around, especially in the corners. Or I do a nighttime mask. I just put a lot more on, not too much. You know, you don't want it to get inside your eyes, but enough that, you know, it soaks in. I also put it in this area of my nose. Sometimes it gets a little bit dry in the corners. I find it cooling, it works well with my skin, it goes under my makeup. The consistency is also quite nice, it's like a gel, and um, it does appear to glitter just a little bit. The next thing I may have mentioned before, but I'm going to mention it again because I'm using this non-stop. This is a fantastic multi-purpose product. This is the Cocoa Butter Formula uh, from Palmer's. This is a tub of hard oil that melts on your skin. Obviously it's summer, so it's melting a lot quicker than in winter, but uh, yeah, you just rub it between your fingers and it warms up. I love the fragrance, it smells like candy floss. I use it for everything. So my feet, my elbows, my skin, my lips as a lip balm. The possibilities are endless with this. Um, but yeah, I leave it by my bed. It's forever by my bed. I'm sort of giving pros and cons in this, but the only con is the fact that it's oil. So do be careful on your clothes. But apart from that, great. And the very last thing on my product list are oils from Tisserand. I adore the company Tisserand. They are fantastic. Their team are fantastic. Um, they... Ooh, my... Oh, hi. Hey. I'm on my last product. Why are you filming this on an iPhone? What are you doing? Give me a kiss. Hey. Hey, I'm on my last one anyway. What are you doing? I'm talking about products. Okay. Okay. Shut up. I've got all shy now. Oh, don't, don't, don't be shy when there's someone... <laughs> Keep going, I'll just be here. <laughs> okay, I've gone all red. You can't see my red cheeks. Look, you feel my cheeks, they're really red. I can feel. You can feel them? Yeah, from here. They're radiating. Really? Yeah. Cool. Seeing as I'm talking about Tisserand, James loves Tisserand as well. Don't you, James? I absolutely do. Yeah, I introduced him to it. I want free stuff too, please. <laughs> um, they did send me some of the Nui... Nua. I can't talk now here. Shut up. They took me to go. No, you could stay. They sent me. Nah, 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 nah. Can't I'll do go. It. <laughs> Can't do it. Um, James is now going to sit behind me and be creepy. Hi, James. 
In the past, I've talked about Tisserand rollerballs, but it's only this year that I have been exploring the world of diffusers. Yeah, I'm blocking James's face. So I've had some of their oils for a while and I've been testing them. And then recently they sent me some of their newer oils. So some of my favorite rollerballs are now essential oils like this. It's great. Everything's great. I've said the word great at least 20 times in there. I don't think I've said this massive white thing is the diffuser. So you put some water in here, put a few dro drops of this in here, and then it just pumps beautiful air around the room. So were you showing that without, without telling them what it was? Yes. <laughs> what do you think they thought it was? Um, a light? Maybe a sad lamp. It is lovely. I do love that thing. I know. It's my saviour. Whenever I had a headache or a cold or a blocked nose, ah, oh, it's wonderful. I was going to say, my, my favourite two oils... Oh, the hello, moment. you're facing me now. You're acknowledging my presence. <laughs> my favourite two oils, <laughs> yeah. one of which is the one that you love, mm. is Head Clear. I think they've just rebranded this to Mind Clear. Mm. That's the one we use when we have migraines. Um, and the next thing is the Sleep Better oil which is my favourite rollerball. Sweet Dreams, it's been rebranded. And that's everything. <laughs> Woohoo! Currently surrounded by products, James Ow. and I. Oh, you've been doing wipes, you've been doing tea tree oil. So as I said, that is everything. Those are all the things that I'm currently obsessed with outside my staples, like First Aid Beauty Lip Balm. I have that with me all, all times. I will put a list of all these products in the video description downstairs below. If you have any questions or recommendations, also leave your comments downstairs below. And I will reply as best I can. Do you want to come and say goodbye, James? You need to come oh, back wow. just a little bit. Yeah. Mm. You're, I'm way more tan than you. I'm Olive, you're pink. I'm going to really annoy you in editing because all I'm doing is looking at the viewfinder. <laughs> you can get really <laughs> off about that. So now we're going to go, aren't we, James? We are. Unfortunately. Where are we going? I don't know. Oh. Get some sun. Okay. <gasps> Say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye. I, 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 can I sit here and do the product thing? Yes. Okay, go away. We need some hair growth thing because hair needs growing. Uh, sea salt foam conditioner. It's basically like going to the sea, um, but for your hair. Uh, it says lignettes. These are actually lovely. <laughs> you love me, don't you, James? I do love you. Thank you.